Okay, let's take a look at square root equations that would not require us to factor. So the difference in this one than the last videos is we only have one x. So the other videos, you had equations that looked like this. You had x in more than one spot. So you had a factor. Here, we just have one x, so I can just solve this. So I'm going to get the square root alone. So I'm going to add 8 first. So then I have the square root of 3x squared plus 4 equals 8. Now I'll square both sides. So I have 3x squared plus 4 equals 64. And I solve for x squared. So subtract 4. 3x squared equals 60. Divide by 3. So x squared equals 20. And then square root. So you get x equals plus or minus the square root of 20. You might need to simplify this. So I could do this as 4 and 5, 2 and 2. So this would be x equals plus or minus 2 square root 5. So remember, anytime you are actually taking the square root of both sides, it creates two answers, a positive and a negative. So my final answer is plus or minus 2 square root 5. Okay, so let's take a look at our second example. So I'm going to start by adding 3. So I have 5x squared minus 1. The square root of all that equals 3. Now that that is alone, I can square both sides. So I have the square root of 5x squared minus 1 equals 9. Oop, I don't have the square root anymore. Sorry, it's just 5x squared minus 1 equals 9. Add 1, so I have 5x squared equals 10, divide by 5, so I have x squared equals 2. Now I'm going to square root to undo the square, those are inverse operations, they will make each other go away, so I have x equals plus or minus the square root of 2. So up here, these were inverse operations. So I should have just been left with 5x squared minus 1. Okay, our final example. I'm going to add 5 to each side. So I have the square root of 2x squared minus 3 equals 5. Now I will square. Those inverse operations undo each other. So I have 2x squared minus 3 equals 25 add 3, so 2x squared equals 28, divide by 2, x squared equals 14, and now I will square root each side, that creates two answers, plus or minus the square root of 14, we'll see if that can be broken down, I have 2 and 7, I don't have any matches, so this would be my final answer.